Everybody, this is Mr. Dakota from St. Paul High School in Worcester, Mass. This video is directed towards my geometry classes. Okay, this morning we're going to be talking about the angle addition postulate, which is very similar to the segment addition postulate. If you are not familiar with the postulate, please go back into chapter one and review that in the textbook. Today I have some examples that I'd like to solve for you, okay? So, a couple different things here that we need to understand is you need to understand your angle relationships. If you do not understand your angle relationships, you will not be able to solve these correctly. We look at our first problem here. This is a straight line. You can assume that this is a straight angle, which is equal to 180 degrees. If you did not know that, you would not know what to set these two angles to. Okay? If we look over here to the right, okay, we have a couple of different things going on here. Okay, we have vertical angles which are opposite of each other, so 4x plus 1 and 65 would be congruent. Then if you look at 7x plus 3 and 65 degrees, those two angles form a straight line which is called a linear pair. A straight line, as we know, is equal to 180 degrees. So, knowing that, let's go through and solve this. Um, the worksheet you're going to be asked to complete today is going to be very similar. It's going to have uh, different types of examples like this that I'm going to ask you to complete. So let's go through and set up the first equation here. They want to know the value of x, the measurement of angle AOB, and the measurement of angle BOC. If we go through and solve this correctly, these two angles should be equal to 180 degrees. So we're going to set 7x plus 2x plus 27 equal to 180 degrees. We're going to have to combine our like terms, so that's 9x plus 27 is equal to 180 degrees. Okay, so now we're going to go through and we have to get the 9x by itself. So we're going to subtract 27 from both sides, so 9x is equal to 153 degrees. We're going to divide both sides by 9, and we're going to go to our calculator and make sure you're always in the correct mode. And when we do that, we have x is equal to 17. So let's go back and plug that in to make sure that our angles are equal to 180 degrees. So I'm going to do 7 times 17. This angle here is 119 degrees. So I'm going to do 2 times 17 plus 27 is equal to 61 degrees. And if we add up 119 and 61, that is equal to 180 degrees. So our x is 17. The measurement of angle AOB is 119 degrees. And the measurement of angle BOC is 61 degrees. This checks out. Let's go over to the second problem. Now, a couple of different things here that you can solve to make this easy. Okay? You could go through and add the 4x plus 1 plus the 7x plus 3 and set that equal to 180 degrees. You could set the 4x plus 1 equal to 65, because those are vertical angles and those are congruent. So that's the one that I'm going to go through and do. So I'm going to set 4x plus 1 equal to 65 degrees. Again, those are vertical angles. So I'm going to subtract 1 from both sides. So 4x is equal to 64. We're going to do 64 divided by 4. We have x is equal to 16. Okay, let's go through and plug it in to make sure. 4 times 16 is 64, plus 1 is 65 degrees. So then we're going to do 7 times 16 plus 3 is equal to 115 degrees. Okay, so 65 and 115 is equal to 180 degrees. So that proves that this is a straight line. It proves that this is a straight line. Okay, so we can now write in that x is equal to 16. The measurement of angle 1 is 65 degrees because it is vertical with this angle over here. And we're looking for the measurement of angle 2, which we proved to be 115 degrees. Please, after you solve your variables, go through and plug everything in. Make sure that everything checks out. Make sure you're answering the questions, please. And again, any line that appears to be straight will be 180 degrees. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me. Have a good day.